Well, there's been no shortage of cold air lately across southern New England, which has helped freeze some of the local lakes and ponds. That's right. 12 News meteorologist Stephen Matagrano joins us now live from the weather yard with more on why you should think twice before heading out on the ice. Stephen? Yeah, guys, I spoke with Jason Fanion from the Barrington Fire Department earlier today about the dangers of going out on the ice and why you should avoid them in general. Here's what he had to say. We recommend that people just stay off the ice. That's the message that many fire departments like Barrington's are urging the public to hear. Captain Fanion says that the unknown ice depth and thickness just adds to the danger. The state does not monitor any local ponds or streams, things like that, so we have no idea if it's actually safe or not. We have no idea how thick the ice is. The day to day change in temperatures also make going on the ice unsafe, especially when going from very cold to much milder temperatures. People get the false impression that, OK, it's been really cold. The ice is safe. We can go on it again you, from day to day. It's New England. The weather changes. So, for example, the next couple of weeks, it's supposed to be a little bit warm. We've got snow cover on the ice. It's also, in some of these streams that you have to think about are lakes. You've got underground springs that are warm. So even though some parts may look frozen, other parts are still pretty thin. So to venture out, you're really just taking a risk that you don't need to. And that's exactly it. Don't take the risk that you don't need to. And Captain Fannin actually says the safest place to go on the ice is at the ice rink. Live in the weather yard, I'm 12 News meteorologist Stephen Matragrano.